Welcome to the four column method, some that ain't cheat sheet. In this video, I'm going to walk you through step by step how to draw this simple subnetting cheat sheet so that you can get every single question correct on exam day. When I initially created the sub, the four column method subnetting cheat sheet, I started out row one with zero and ended in eight, and then the subnet was zero. Now this is a little incorrect because as you can see, the formula is two X and that's gonna give you the subnet. So it should be eight. So if you start with eight, you're gonna end column one with eight. And then now it's correct. So that's the only correction, but I'm gonna walk you through step by step how to draw this chart because you must draw it in order. And the reason for that is just so that you can on exam day, if you're stressed and you just are like, rushing and you can't think, you draw it in this order, it, it reduces the amount of thinking you have to do. All right, so here we go. So you're essentially gonna take your little exam board or a piece of scrap paper, and you're going to write, draw three lines, just like that, three simple lines. Next, you're gonna draw nine horizontal lines. The first line that you draw is gonna be for the header row, and you can write this in exam day, but I just numbered, I just um, labeled it so that it's easy to understand. On exam day, I usually just put subnets, you know, and quickly memorize those formulas. So you draw that one line and then you draw the continue the rest of the lines. Now you start in column one and you start with the number eight and then you just number down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's it. Next, you're gonna go over to column three and you're going to reverse it starting with zero and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Simple, right? Okay, now we're gonna move on over to column four. Now we start in column four and we just double up from one, one doubled is two, two doubled is four, four doubled is eight, eight doubled is 16, so on and so forth until you get to the top, which is 128 doubled is 256. Now I wanna walk you through the thinking of this column four because it represents two things, the block size as well as the power of two. So you know how you had to remember the grouping of threes, you know, two to the third is eight, two to the fourth is that, two to the ninth is this. Well, instead of memorizing all of those, they're built into the chart. The column four represents power two as well as the block size, which we will talk about in a second. But the power two is important when you're subnetting. As you can see, there are the power of two can go at really, really high. Luckily, you won't have to memorize that. I think at most, you'll probably have to know up to two to the 10th. And if you get, um, if you can't remember that day, then here's what you do. Remember, column four is just a doubling of the number prior. So I, just to continue with this up, this would be nine, which would be slash 23. And this would be 10, which would be slash 20. Two. Okay, so here we go. So 256 doubled is 512. And then 512 double is 1024. So if you go blank, just know that you just keep counting up. And that's how you would get your block size. I mean, I'm, that's how you get, that's how you would get the number of hosts. But don't worry about that now. I just want to show you how to draw the chart so that you are aware. All right, so let's continue. Now the next thing we need to do is fill in column number two. You start with 255, then you start 128, plus 64 is 192, plus 32 is 224, 240 plus eight, you know, and that's, you go down to there. Now, if you have a problem memorizing the subnets, you just know that obviously you, you double the numbers. This is essentially column four vertically written. I'm sorry, horizontally written. So one double is two, two double is four, four double is eight, and so forth until you get to 128. And now you just start adding. So 128 plus 64 is 192. 192 plus 32 is 224. 224 plus 16 is 240, and so forth and so on until you get to 255. So that use this method if you are not good at memorizing the subnets. So now we're just gonna fill in column two, 255. 128 plus 64 is 224 plus 16 until you get to the end. And this is the four column method filled out subnetting cheat sheet. So this is all you need for the chart. This is everything you will need to answer a lot of questions, every question actually, and it's only four columns. Now, this is what it would look like if we had to draw 
out every single cedar and subnet. It's just a lot. And when you're under stress and pressure and you have that little piece of paper they give you on exam day, it's not going to work. I did want to point out something interesting. This is the default slash eight. This is the default slash 16 and slash 24. If you can notice, they all start in eight and in eight. Eight. 16 starts in eight, ends in eight. 24 starts in eight, ends in eight. And then look at the subnet. Starts in 255, ends in 255. Starts in 255, ends in 255. Starts in eight, ends in eight. And this is essentially the original chart that we create. Starts in eight and ends in zero, but that's just because we didn't put eight. But you can see the pattern here. The only column that really changes is this one. And this is because this is this column represents block size as well as the number of hosts. So we, our chart, original chart essentially ends here. Original chart initially ends here. And this is all the other stuff. So this is why you can get away with using one chart with the four columns. I'm going to show you how to use it. Here's how to use a cheat sheet. No matter what cedar they give you, you find the seed, the default cedar that is nearest on row zero without going over. So let me show you what that looks like in action. So slash 18. So you either start on rows. This is row zero. This is a header row and this is row zero. So slash 18, the closest is slash 16. And so 16, 17, 18. So that means our subnet is 182. All right, let's do another one. Slash 12. The closest cedar to 12 without being over is eight. So eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Here it is right here, 240. So let's just start counting at slash eight and the cedar is 240. All right, last one, slash 27. The closest cedar without being over is 24. So slash 24. So here you go, 24, 25, 26, 27. So it's 224. And that's it. So I'm gonna show you in future videos how to use this simple four columns to answer a lot of questions. But for now, at least you know how to draw it and how to use it so they can continue on with the other videos. Welcome to the four column method subnetting cheat sheet, which will help you get every single subnetting question right on the exam. So those are easy points that you don't wanna miss. Please watch the subsequent videos to learn how to use them to quickly answer other questions like, the number of hosts, number of subnets, subnet mass, cedar, all of those things and more. Thank you so much. Please subscribe.